All right, we started two-step equations, and we're playing a little game here called identify the coefficient and the constant. So the first one's real easy because it's actually a grade seven question. So here's our variable. Just remember that x is our variable. And we have a four, which is known as our coefficient. And our constant here is a negative one. So therefore, our constant is a negative one. And our coefficient, or our multiplier to x, is simply the number four. A way to think about it is, if I was to draw this, I'd have four x's and a negative one equals a positive 3. And our coefficient is simply how many variables we have. And our constant is on the same side as the variable, and it's the plus minus value when I draw it. So here we can see it's a negative 1. Okay, So that's one way to think of it. If you're having a difficult time differentiating between what, co what a coefficient is, just remember a coefficient is how much of the variable you have or how many of the variable you have. And a constant is the plus minus on the same side that's used to balance the two sides. In the second one, <clears throat> before I talk about what the coefficients, I'm going to draw it real quick. So if I was to draw that equation, that's what I would have drawn. And now it makes it easier for me to identify what the coefficient is. So the coefficient is how much of the variable I have. How much of the variable do I have? Do I have two of them? No, I have half of it. So therefore, the coefficient, a lot of people think it's 2, but it's not. The coefficient is a half, or if you want to write that as a decimal, 0 0.5, because that's all of the variable you have. You only have half of it. And the constant is the plus minus value on the same side, which is right there, which is plus 3, or positive 3. In the third one, before I draw it, I'm going to, or before I answer the question, I'm going to draw it. I have 4, and I have a negative 2x. I have 5. So here, how much of x do you have? If I look at it, I do not have 2x's, do I? I have negative 2x's. So therefore, my coefficient is negative 2. And my constant, or my plus minus value, is right there, which is a positive 4. It's not a negative 4. Some people think that this negative sign uh, indicates the constant, but it doesn't. It's actually attached to the coefficient, so therefore our constant is positive 4. In the third one, or the fourth one, D, my plus minus value is right there. That's my constant, and my coefficient is actually in front of the variable. So my constant's real easy. My constant is negative 2, but my coefficient is not as easy. What is my coefficient, Will? Negative 1. That's right. It's not 1. If you ask yourself the question, how much of x do you have, you don't have 1x, you have negative 1x. So therefore, your coefficient would be negative 1. In question E, we have uh, a constant again of negative 2, and our coefficient is right there. So our constant is negative 2. It's the plus minus value. And how much of x, our coefficient, how am I going to write that? How much of x do I have, Jack? Do I have four of them? One quarter. Is it a negative quarter or a positive quarter? No, it's a negative quarter. So it's a negative quarter, or if you want to write it as a decimal, a negative 0 0.25. That's how much of x we have. And finally, the last one. Uh, grab my highlighter here. So my constant is 5 or a positive 5. And my coefficient is right there. How much of x do I have? A negative third. So I have a negative third in word form, or a negative third, or a negative 0 0.3 repeating as a coefficient. 